post on the Facebook group Wargaming, uh, Wargamers, and uh, there was a lot of uh, enthusiasm about this uh, vintage game, about how it's played, and uh, you know, Battleship 3D, and it's essentially what it is. So I thought I'd go over the rules real quick, uh, just give you an idea of the play. So initial setup is we've got 100, 200, 300 meter levels of where your subs can be hiding. So let's hide my subs. I'm the yellow team. Um, I'll put them here, and that's really close to the, the harbor. Maybe we'll, we'll slide in in the middle where they're, where they're coming out. I can put all my subs on the same level, or I can put them on three different levels. I'm going to put this guy, uh, we'll go way back over here. He'll be lurking over there. The ships, um, <laughs> where this used to be spots for hits in Battleship is now depth charge holders. So all your ships start over here on the harbor side. These are the entry points. Uh, your ships come in from those. Same thing for red. So uh, let's see what happens when a depth charge is fired. Ships move uh, one, two, or three spaces and uh, they can move Let's go one, two, three. Uh, I could go one, two, three. So diagonal, any combination of left and right. So one, two, or three spaces. So I'm on 16. I don't know where red has hit all their subs, um, but I'm gonna fire a depth charge and it's gonna be a miss. And I'll show you how we mark that here. So let's pretend, let's flip it around. So I'm gonna do that. So red fires a depth charge and has to declare if the depth charge is going is set, you know, it's got the timer going, if it's gonna explode at 100, 200, or 300 meters. And then there'll be a blast pattern. So let's say he said 200 meters. So I'm gonna put this right here just to mark that's what we're doing. And what, the explosion is on 10 at 200, that would be a direct hit. But nine, four, so front and back, left and right, and 10 at 300 and 10 at 100 would also, all those, those four and these two would be a near miss. And that starts letting you zone in on uh, dialing into where the ship is. So. Let's say this is what happened, but it's over here. I called a 10 and my opponent said miss. So I would do 10 at 200. It was a miss, so I get a big pattern at 200 of places now where I know the sub is not located. And 10 up here and 10 up here. So you can see the pattern you're starting to create as you move around. Let's see, he would have spent one depth charge. So what happens when you run out of depth charges? If you fired them all, you have to return to your home port and then you can reload on depth charges. So on your turn, you have a ship phase and a submarine phase. So if it's yellow's turn, you know, I move out to 10, I decide I do want to drop a depth charge, so I can do that. That was my result. Now I kind of have a sub phase. In the sub phase, I can choose to fire a torpedo if I want. Now, right now there's no ship that's um, that would be in line. So if you look at the top, there's these torpedo lanes. And if I had a ship, I mean a submarine, let's say I had one here, that it could be anywhere in this row, I could say I'm firing a torpedo and the torpedo runs the length of this lane right here. And then you take the spinner to see if you got a hit or a miss. It was a miss. So you can see by this, you're gonna miss a lot, but I need to I'll find out what the percentage is on this. Uh, spinners, I don't know. It, that's kind of fun, but uh, maybe a D10 might be a better way to go on that. Maybe a one and a two is a hit. Um, 
But if I fire a torpedo, guess what? Red now knows at one of these levels, there is now, there's a submarine in this area and they'll be uh, zeroing in on trying to find me. So you may not want to just fire torpedoes willy-nilly. Uh, how do you win? Uh, if red can get rid of all of my submarines, uh, that's a win. Or if red submarines manage to get rid of all of my ships, that's a win. So kill off the submarines or kill off the fleet that's hunting after you. Uh, one extra fun bonus here, we've got this uh, sea mine. And at the beginning of the game, you place it somewhere on the 100 level. And if a ship finishes its turn, let's see, this guy's over here and goes one, two, three. If it finishes where your mine is, it is blown up instantly. So that's not a bad uh, deal, even before it can drop any depth charges. It's recommended that you write down on a piece of paper uh, where you've placed your mine just to, uh, you know, confirm for your opponent that it, is, it really was there and not you happened to magically blow up his last ship when he was about to get your last submarine. Uh, so that's the gist of it. You've got these little flags so you can mark uh, when you did get a hit and you've taken care of one of the subs. So you've got the, would have two left. Nice little tray here. And that is how Subsearch is played.